Oh, look, a little tiny islet in the middle of this pond. You come to some low-lying areas near rivers, lakes, and ponds. You find places like this swamp, wetlands such as this. In order to understand wetlands, it is important to understand how wetlands form. Ooh, look, a heron. The formation of a swamp starts with water. It can form with a pond or a shallow lake. What happens is that within those relatively shallow bodies of water, trees and other types of plants grow on the land that's there. And what happens is that plant matter begins to decay, the water levels begin to drop. The water is still there. However, now the land and the water sort of coalesce, it comes together. Think of wetlands as sort of where the land and the water meet and mix and coalesce. Wetlands are formed out of water. The plants growing, the water levels dropping, and yet the water is still there. And that is how wetlands are formed. This is how swamps and marshes are formed. Wetlands start out as relatively shallow bodies of water. Plants and shrubs grow. They fill in the land. Plant matter decays in the water. The water levels start dropping. The end result, wetlands like these. I encourage you to get out and explore and see what's around you. You never know what you might find or what you might learn. Check out other videos on this channel, and as always, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Click on the notification bell next to subscribe. That's how you get notifications for more videos. And places like this, wetlands, that's just scratching the surface when it comes to learning geography.